We learn the story of Gallipoli as we grow up. We hear about the dawn landing and the Australians who defied both the Turks and the elements to hang on to a miserable scrap of land on the other side of the world. All the original Anzacs have passed away now, yet the number of Australians who stand solemnly on Gallipoli's shores continues to swell each year. They come home and tell friends and family how the visit moved them. And here is the simple truth. The story of Gallipoli thrives as one of our most compelling legends. Each year it seems to grow stronger. They huddled in lifeboats. Packs pinched their shoulders and their rifles felt heavier than usual. Legs stiffen and minds race. What if a machine gunner spotted them out here? Sitting up like ducks on a pond, the soldiers had sharpened their bayonets the day before. A few bragged about how many Turks they would kill. The Turks would probably run away, someone said. No one believed that now. They peered into the darkness and saw nothing, just blackness. No one knew what lay ahead. Hell they'd never heard of Gallipoli until a few, few weeks ago. 36 lifeboats. 12 steamboats towed them. There were 30 to 40 soldiers in each lifeboat. These men would be the first of 12,000 Australians to land. Soon they would know that war wasn't as romantic as the people back home had said it was. The soldiers were farmers and lawyers, accountants and labourers. They had been the first to volunteer when war was declared in August 1914. The first lifeboats neared the shore. The steamboats released their toes, oars plopped in the still water. A hill jutted above the shore. It was like a black fist warning the invaders to stay away. Were there Turks in the shadows below? A flame suddenly crackled from the funnel of one of the steamboats. It rose a metre and flared for 20 seconds or more. The engine had gone amiss. At once, a yellow light gleamed high in the hills to the south. Now the Turks knew. The boats were about to nudge into the wrong beach. They had bunched up in front of Ari Banu, a steep rise tumbling to the sea. Perhaps the tides had pushed the boats together. More likely, the warships had brought the troops to within a few kilometres of the shore and had anchored too far north. Not that it mattered now, in the smudgy light before dawn, the soldiers gazed up at soaring cliffs. They were supposed to be looking at a pleasant beach with a low hill behind it. A man stood on a hill ahead. There was a shout from the shore. A single shot ran out. A bullet hissed over the Australians' heads. Silence. More shots, more hisses. The Gallipoli campaign had begun. Many went to war. Some came home. They loved and they lived the best that they could until they finally found peace. Many soldiers at Gallipoli died trying to defend our country. We will never forget them, lest we forget.